And we're going to play that for you now. And there is no audio on this, correct? It's just video. Is that right? Yes. And so we're just going to sit and watch it, and then I'll have some questions after the video shows, okay? I'm going to pause this just for a moment right here, okay? Uh, well, let's see if it can. Can you click forward just a few more frames, please? Let's just keep going here for a little bit. All right, stop it right there, please. Thank you. Now, a couple things, and just for the record, the timestamp on the video currently is 734.57. But, Mr. Martin, um, you don't know if that timestamp is the actual correct time that this was being taken, do you? I do not. Right. And there will be ways that we can deal with that later, but you're not, well, I think you've answered my question. So if you would, in this photograph, uh, describe for the jurors you know, kind of what we're seeing here in the layout of the store. And one of the things I want to let you know is in front of you, there should be a stylus like this, okay? And if you take it and See how you can draw right on the screen? So if you would, as you're uh, just telling the jurors kind of the layout of the store, maybe just mark the screen when you're talking about the different areas of the store, okay? Okay. So when you enter um, here, um, the next door will be right here. This is where, sorry, this is where tobacco is. So that's kind of how it's closed off. And then if you take a left, here, there's a door here, and then um, these are all the snacks. This is where the deli is located, um, kind of like tucked off here. Um, right here is just kind of like my manager's space, usually where they are, kind of watching to see who comes in and out. And then back here, you can't really see it, but that's usually where most of the people are that can help you with your phone. And then right here in the front is just mainly where I sit all day when I work cashier. All right. And then, um, Your Honor, I think you can clear the screen in one fell swoop, right? Please? Thank you. And um, so when we're looking, I'm going to have you identify this individual here. Uh, okay. George Floyd. Okay. And that's Mr. Floyd, who you'd had the conversation with? Correct. All right. And then... Uh, this individual right in here, who's that? That's me. All right. And then uh, these other three individuals are coworkers? Yes. All right. And so this, is this the area, you know, when you're cashiering that you work? Yes. All right. Except when it's tobacco and that's over back here? Yes. All right. Okay, and then we can let it run. I'm going to pause right here for another moment, please. I see there's an individual sitting here. Yes. Um, you don't have to give us his name, but is he a coworker as well? Yes. All right. And um, so it looks like even just in this frame, at least four coworkers, correct? Yes. Now, would there be a manager on duty at this time as well? Yes. And where would the manager be? He would be tucked off here in the corner of the store. So it's just like right in the corner. Um, usually behind his computer working and then when people needed help, he would pop out and help. Okay. All right, then let's continue, thank you.
I'm going to stop right here for a moment, please. Uh, Mr. Martin, do you see where you are? And just for the record, we've stopped at 737-28. Do you see where you are in the store right now? Yes. And what's that location? Uh, the tobacco section of the store. So that's where you go to sell cigarettes to people? Yes. And other tobacco products, I suppose? Yes. All right. And then we can continue, please. And while we're watching this, Mr. Martin, can you tell us, it looks like windows on the far wall, uh, correct? Yes. And what street is outside of those windows? 38. Is that actually Chicago? Outside? Oh, Chicago, sorry. Were you yeah. talking about the ones in front? Right. Yes. The one where the bus is right now? Yes. That's 38. Sorry about that. Well, is that actually Chicago out in front of the store? Yes, sorry, Chicago. Okay. I'm going to stop you here if, you, if we could please. And uh, for the record, this is at 739.09. You see an individual has just walked into the frame, correct? This, this individual here? Yes. And again, you don't have to give us his name, but who is that? That is the manager. Okay. So he has come out from the manager area of the store? Yes. All right. We can continue then, please. Now, if we could pause here for a moment, please. And again, for the record, this is 739.28. We see that Mr. Floyd has sort of walked off the, off the screen, correct? Yes. And so what area of the store is that where he has walked to? The cell phone area. All right. And then uh, if we can continue.
Mr. Martin, then at some point, does Mr. Floyd make his way to the tobacco counter to make a purchase with you? Yes. Right. So we'll see that coming up here in a, in a minute or two. Mr. Uh, Martin, let me pause this right here. For the record, 74436. We see now you standing uh, at the cashier area and seems to be speaking with Mr. Floyd, correct? Correct. And um, were you able to understand the conversation with him at that point? Yes. All right. um, and okay, so let's keep rolling then, please. Now let's stop here for the record at 744.49. Um, where are you now with Mr. Floyd? In the tobacco section of the store. And did you in fact sell him something there? I did. Do you recall what it was that you sold to uh, him? A pack of cigarettes. All right. We saw you reach over to your left. Uh, is that where the cigarettes are stored? Yes. And so he had, had he already told you at that point what he wanted? Yes. And so you didn't have any difficulty understanding what he wanted to buy from you? No. And then did you complete that transaction? Yes. And um, after that, what did Mr. Floyd do? He then went back outside to his vehicle. All right. So we'll let this run then to um, its end. Now, if I'm going to freeze it here, I'm sorry, I said I was going to let it run, but um, we saw you holding something up. Can you describe, and again, for the record, this is 745.10, describe for the jurors what you were doing there. Oh, I was holding up the $20 bill that I just received. And is that something you always do or something about this? No. When I um, saw the bill, I noticed that it had a blue pigment to it, kind of how a $100 bill will have. And I found that odd, so I assumed that it was fake. Okay. But Mr. Floyd is still there, correct? Yes. Um, and you completed the transaction? Yes. All right. And then upon doing that, did he leave the store? Yes. All right. So now let's let that run, please. So after you looked at the bill, though, he didn't leave immediately, did he? No. All right, so that is the uh, end of Exhibit 29, I believe the uh, time there is 745.51.
correct? Well, I'm asking you, but you saw that on the timestamp on there. Correct. So we could look at other video to determine if that time is correct. But that's the time he left the store on this video. Yes. All right. After he left, did you uh, look at the bill again? I did. All right. At the time that you were working on May 25th of 2020, what was the store policy about uh, cashiers accepting $20 bills? The policy was that if you took a counterfeit bill, you would have to pay for it out of your money or your paycheck. And it gives you an incentive to be careful about what you take? Yes. All right. So did you think that bill might not be legitimate? I did. So what did you decide to do? Um, I took it anyways, and I was planning to just put it on my tab um, until I second-guessed myself. And as you can see in the video, I kept examining it, and then I eventually told my manager. All right. And when you told your manager, um, what what happened next? What, what, was, what were you told to do? He told us to go out to the vehicle and to ask him to come inside to discuss what just went, just happened. And uh, when you say vehicle, what are you referring to? Uh, the car or the SUV, I think, that George Floyd was in. How did you know that? Um, I could see it from where I was standing in tobacco from the store. Okay. So we know from the video that those windows we could see where that bus was, that's actually Chicago, correct? Yes. 38th runs along the backside of that store. Yes. Was, is there a way to look then out on the 38th from the store? Yes. And I guess what I'm questioning is, how did you know he was in that vehicle? I watched him walk to it. Right. Pretty good way to know. Yes. Um, and so you saw him go out to that vehicle after he made this purchase? Yes. All right. And so your manager...